The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible one about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. The Bible is filled with words of wisdom that encourage us to love God, love others, love life. Sometimes Jesus used stories to help people understand how God's truth played out in their lives. And you know, that's what stories can do for you. In the book of Matthew, some religious leaders tried to trick Jesus with a pretty tough question, and they asked him, what is the most important commandment in the law? But Jesus didn't get tripped up. What he said was, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. Love him with all your mind. That is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the prophets and the law is based on these two commandments. Let's see how this truth might play out in somebody's life today. Solomon Sunday hated his name. After all, his Grammy Tatum was the one who named him after only the wisest man to ever live. Which means I failed before I even start. To make matters worse, all of Solomon's friends knew exactly what they were going to study in college. Well, he had no clue. What am I supposed to be and do? So Solomon decided he would start a podcast and interview wise people to find out, and he had Grammy Tatum on as his very first guest. Here, have a cookie before we record. You used my caramel chocolate chip recipe? Yeah, but I adapted it a mm, bit. Mmm, great googly moogly if this isn't the best cookie I ever tasted. Hmm, we better get started. Here goes. Welcome to the wise and the dumb of Solomon. Oh, that's a terrible name. Mm, plus, I'm still chewing. Mm. I'm here on the podcast with my Grammy Tatum. What's a podcast? It's like radio, but on the web. Oh, the web? Mm -mm, I don't like spiders. No, the internet. Ooh, ooh, you mean like where I dial up for the emails? Just email, Grammy, not the email. Oh, I just own podcast. <laughs> what? Graham's Racket. Tennis tips. My site gets 7,000 hits a day. Oh. Hmm. So, what do you want to know? Launch episode is a big deal. You only get one chance to make a first impression, Solly. Oh, don't call me that. I hope you're going to fix this in post. Okay, okay. Here it is. What am I meant to do? Well... That's an easy serve. You were made to love God and love others. That's it? That's it. Game, set, match. Solomon was disappointed. I mean, he had wanted to launch his podcast with a big splash, but as far as he was concerned, Grammy's performance was kind of a dud. I know that what I'm supposed to do is more, well, complex than just loving God and people. For his next podcast guest, Solomon invited on a very famous wise man who wore only organic linen robes and ate only mung beans. What am I meant to do? Go higher. Higher? First, climb the stairs, and then a hill. And after that, a small mountain, and then a large mountain, and then the tallest mountain on the face of the earth. What then? No one will bother you up there, so you can be calm and peaceful all of your days. What if I want a pizza? You know how annoying those delivery guys are? Good point. Here, have a cookie. Next, Solomon invited a financial genius, the Gazillions gal, onto his show. What am I meant to do? Get money. All the money you can. Money, money, money. What then? You can play with it, toss it around, party with it, sleep in it. Won't that get crinkly and clanky? Just buy a better mattress. Um, uh, thank you, I think. Here, have a cookie. 
At last, Solomon invited a well-known psychiatrist onto his show. Dr. Emotajan, what am I meant to do? Be happy! But how do I do that? Think happy thoughts. Text lots of smiley faces. You need more smileys, grins, LOLs, ROTFLs. <laughs> uh, H-A-C? What? Have a cookie. <sighs> By the time Solomon finished with his round of interviews, he definitely was not LOLing. In fact, he was losing his voice and was downright cranky. I'm never gonna find out what I was meant to do. Grammy fixed him up a bowl of her famous tuna noodle soup, yum, and showed him all the memes that people had created about her, um, <clears throat> tennis playing. Wow, you're really terrible. Sure am, but I have fun and I make people laugh at themselves too. Is that what you were meant to do? Well, it's my way of loving others. And one way to love God is to love others. So, yes, I'd say it is. But what about me? What about you? Am I supposed to host a tennis podcast too? You like tennis? Only the table kind. Here, have another cookie. Grammy munched thoughtfully on her fourth cookie. God's made you to love him and love others in your own special way. And at least one of those appears to be baking. Really? I mean, that's so easy. Mm. You've been handing out chocolate chip happiness all day. And if you ask, God will show you all the other unique ways he's made you to love him and love others. Hey, Grammy, can I get you back on the podcast? Only if you bribe me with another batch of cookies. Well, Grammy's advice may not have been the most dramatic, but Solomon was pretty sure that her wisdom to love God and to love others was the best way to launch his podcast after all. 